Hi. Welcome back to Burke Mountain Optional University in our course Hashtag Harmonic Acoustic Sound, A Brighter Side of Us. In our 5th accord and chapter we cover the chords of bagpipes. Won't you come along with us? 5th accord G minor. Chord, long live the king. Bagpipe. We may best be familiar with the bagpipe from the Duke of Rossi and heir of the Scottish throne since 1398 which in turn since the Acts of Union in 1707 is as well that of the English throne. In recent years the Brexit movement may have preferred to separate the bagpipe and Scotland from the United Kingdom though it failed to do so. Since the time when Roman administration controlled the island men insubordinate retreated from buildings made with man's hands to the outskirts of towns and highlands of Scotland. We ought point out that Scotland and Scottish are what Romans called the land and its people while the Gaelic called the Kingdom Alba and Land Albany. As Dalriada and Pictland formed the Gaelic Kingdom by their union their opposition to Roman authority is why we call their language Scots Gaelic and not merely Scottish. The constant and inconclusive cultural battle has us in the Western world oriented to Scot while those Europeans see them as Gaelic in Alba. Between the dominance of the Roman Empire and the English throne those of Alba preferred siding with the latter who were in protest of forced religious belief, more biologically related and culturally appreciative of bagpipes. Not that bagpipes are exclusive to those Gaelic, Scottish, or of Alba as they have been played for centuries in the Persian Gulf, Western Asia, North Africa and Europe, but they at least in America have become synonymous with the Scottish culture distinct more or less so regarded from those merely speakers of English. The bagpipe is unique, and to it from hills the Gaelic culture of Tani Strevi recorded was reinforced orally in folk songs heralding the future king. The bagpipe is a unique instrument which those from Scotland at least in America have monopolized its production, instruction, and distribution. Comprised of air supplies and bags together with drones and chanters, the bagpipe has a unique continuous sound and rhythmic flow that keeps listeners' attention. With blowpipes or sticks air is commonly supplied to the instrument where often inhaling the tongue covering the blowpipe's tip unwanted deflation is prevented. Bellows known as called wind pipes can also provide air to this instrument with reeds more defined and delicate. Holding and regulating airflow is an airtight bag controlled by arm pressure by which sound may be even and continuous. The bag is inflated by air blown in by the player or from bellows pumping. Often skins of animals, sheep, goats, cows, or even dogs, are used, but in some synthetic bags are used with zips allowing players inside bags a more effective moisture trap. Synthetic bags have, however, trapping moisture a greater potential for fungal spores colonization which may affect players' lungs more than those of natural substances, if not kept cleaned. With at least one monophonic or harmonic effect where notes harmonized to a chord are continuous drones are usually tonic on the diatonic scale in the first degree with a final resolution tone or tonal center. Finally, with at least one melody pipe or chanter board internally are so conical in shape or full length being cylindrically parallel. Of boxwood, plum, cornel or fruited wood of some type open pipe there is no way to stop bagpipes from sounding while filled with air. To bagpipes from hills the Gaelic culture of Tani Strevi recorded was reinforced orally in folk songs repeated until time for war. As bugle signal troops to move hither and thither, to and fro, bagpipes though mostly for folk music called men just as readily to sing folk songs to assemble for war as well and if not more rapidly. In 1547 at the Battle of Pinky or Clevog it was said that on the battlefield near Musselburgh, Scotland on River Esk's banks the trumpet was replaced by the bagpipe by the 16th century Scottish historian George Buchanan. As the last pitched battle before Scotland was subdued by England the Battle of Pinky was part of the rough wooing of Henry VIII's son. Edward VI and Mary Queen of Scottish were meant to be, so they thought. It was a horrific loss called Black Saturday where it's said that their bagpipes may still be heard in the whisper of wind blowing through trees late at night. The first to play, long live the king, to the king who's just come to be where those Scottish were and are those playing bagpipes. Heralding the Duke of Rothsey to his new position sovereign over England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. It goes like. The king is dead. The king is dead. Long live the king. Long lived old Rex. Long lived one enlightened. Long lived hen Rex. The king is dead. Long live King Edward. Would have been heard as Elizabeth transitioned and Charles transformed. William will recall Charles's and George will Williams from Charles's until a new heir is born. Repeated in song approaching the new monarch as only having heard that tune from bagpipes upon mortality of a current monarch would usher in the new. Many may not fully understand what a monarch is and certainly not an English imperial one without hearing in the background of vocals bagpipes blowing steadily. The constant chords played as air escapes from the chanter which when controlled does so harmonically. Welsh have called their bagpipers pibgoder since the 14th century. They are either single reed or double reed where the single reed they call a pibgorn like a horn pipe. The single reed plays it but one octave and either may be furnished by way of the bags with drones or not. The double seed is a shorn in form and usually plays louder than a single reed bagpipe. A shorn is a conical bore, musical woodwind instrument made in Europe since the 12th century. Irish bagpipes are called, P.I.B. more, or war pipes send sound waves translating to signals for battles and played by some New York American police forces. Bagpipes are unique where from hills the Gaelic culture of Tani Strati recorded was reinforced orally in folk songs, heralding the future king and war. What is history but those who lead today and how they will be remembered tomorrow by the future presently? Its constant sound captures audiences to folk music, praise new kings and even more. To the Duke of Rothsey, the Prince of Wales and even the first Earl of Shannon, Henry Boyle, bagpipes heard sing songs emphasized in notes even from Castle Martyr's history. That concludes and the information we have for you at this time. 
We hope you learned more about bagpipes, chords, and hashtag harmonic acoustic sound. Next session we cover my country tis of the, tone and symphony. We can't wait to see you there. Buckle up and drive safely, it's the law. Thank you for your time and consideration.